Okay guys, today we're going to learn about gravity. Be ready to answer your questions because it always gives you the answer right before it asks the question. If I told you that you just won the lottery, what would you do? If you're like me, you'd jump up and down and scream. And after you were done freaking out and jumping in the air, you'd land on your feet, right? But why would you land back on the ground instead of just floating off into space? It's because of a little something we call gravity. Gravity is what pulls everything toward the ground, including you. Without the force of gravity, there would be no life on Earth. Air, water, animals, everything would fly off into space. There'd be no you, no me, no french fries, nada. Think of gravity like the invisible superglue that holds our massive world together. You can't see it, but it's always there. An English scientist named Isaac Newton was the first person to seriously study gravity over 300 years ago. There's a famous story about him that you might have heard. Supposedly, Sir Isaac was hanging out underneath an apple tree thinking, probably partly napping, when an apple fell from the tree and conked him on the head. That's when Sir Isaac had an aha moment. Why did the apple fall down to the ground and not up or sideways? He realized that a special kind of force, which we now know as gravity, was acting on all of the objects on Earth pulling them toward it. Once the apple became too heavy for its stem to hold it anymore, the gravitational pull of Earth brought the apple down onto Newton's noggin. Newton also realized it doesn't matter how heavy an object is either, whether you're holding an apple or a bowling ball or a feather. If you let go of it, that sucker's going down. We're gonna make a whole video about this later. Base I've got a video that I'm gonna show you guys that'll summarize what she's talking about there. Basically, he determined that what goes up must come down. Sir Isaac was a pretty smart dude. Okay, so you know that if you jump up, you'll eventually land back on the ground, and you know that an apple dropped down will land on the ground too. But what if you throw something in front of you, or to the left, or the right? To see how gravity will act, pick up the tennis ball, or any small round object, and hold it in your hand. Let's toss it in the air, and watch it fall to the ground. No surprise here. Okay, now pick it up and hold it over your head. Let go, and watch it fall once more. Again, not a shocker. Now throw it to your left. Fall down. Pitch it to the right, and watch it go down again. No matter where you throw the ball, it's going down. So we've determined that near the surface of the Earth, where we all are, gravity is the cause that produces the effect of all unsupported objects falling down. The ball will go up, or to the left, or to the right for a little bit, but eventually it's going to be pulled back down to the ground, no matter what. Gravity's got a hold on, well, everything. All right, so here's the second video that's gonna explain that whole air resistance thing. This is NASA's space power facility near Cleveland, Ohio, and it is the world's biggest vacuum chamber. It's used to test spacecraft in the conditions of outer space, and it does that by pumping out the 30 tons of air in this chamber until there are about two grams left. Now, it goes through and it, it tries to take out all that air to create this vacuum, but it's going to take like three hours and I do some recapping that I'm not going to get too far into. Let me move this forward. Here's our bowling ball and feathers. Galileo's experiment was simple. He took a heavy object and a light one and dropped them. Now, before these drop, what do you think is going to happen? Think about it. Let's see. Same time to see which fell fastest. Now in this case, the feathers fell to the ground at a slower rate than the bowling ball because of air resistance. Air resistance is what's slowing the feather down. It's like friction in the air. There's friction in the air. If you have your hand out a car door ever, you can feel the friction inside air as the wind blows. So 
So in order to see the true nature of gravity, we have to remove the air. All right, they close everything up here. Takes a little while. Let me take you forward to once they have all the air sucked out. And they're ready to drop the bowling ball and feathers in the vacuum where there's no friction, no air resistance. One, release. In the vacuum. No air inside there. No friction. They pumped all the air out. Amazing. They came down exactly the same. Exactly the same. Feathers don't move nothing. Look at that. That's just brilliant. Isaac Newton was saying that the ball and the feather fall because there's a force pulling them down. Gravity. That's the force you're learning about.